Chuck Karstensen back again with tip number two of this video blog starter series. And the tip I wanted to give today is, if you can notice, I'm just sitting in my car and I'm actually waiting for my kids to get out of school today and I'm doing a video. I just set it on my dashboard, do a video. You might see cars drive by. I don't know. Somebody could be in back window waving at you in the camera. I, I, I can't tell. I don't see somebody doing that now. But here's the deal. Most people will think, well, I got to get this perfect setup. I got to do everything perfect. I want it to look like I'm a movie star. Oh, I need this and that. No. You can grab your camera, set it somewhere, whether it's on a tripod, on a desk, or if you're using a webcam, whatever you're using, or like today I'm using my car, and just pull it out and start recording. Yeah, you want to have some content. This content helps people because I know this one right here, this tip right here, a lot of people are really scared to start. What do I do? How do I start a video blog? When do I have time to blog? Heck, like I said, I'm waiting for my kids. And while I'm waiting for my kids, you're going to get three to four videos from me. They're all about one to two minutes. And I'll have almost a week's worth of video content to help you getting your video blog started. Pretty easy. You can do it. I do it. Look back at the videos I've done. You could probably do better, but you're not doing it yet. Let's get you started. Chuck Harstenson, Discovery Team at Remax.